Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multiplication, specifically how we can represent multiplication in many different ways, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's start with a simple multiplication problem. 4 times 5. So 4 groups of 5, that's going to get us 20. But how can we represent that in multiple ways? Well, let's look at all of these different options we see here on the screen. So repeated addition, 4 times 5 means I am adding 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So what this is, is this is 4 groups of adding 5. If I wanted to, I could flip that. The commutative property or the order property lets me know that I can flip the order of the factors and still get the same answer. So 5 times 4 is the same as 4 times 5. Multiplication is like addition. You can flip the factors just like you can flip the add-ins. So you can do 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. That's going to get you 5, 10, 15, 20. Or if you wanted to add 5 groups of 4, you could say 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. You'd have to make sure you add 4 or 5 times, but those are both going to get you 20. So what does that look like in an array? Well, typically with an array, you take either x's, circles, squares. I'm going to draw circles. And I'm going to draw 5 across. So there's my 5. And I'm going to draw 4 rows of that. So array is always made of equal rows. Each row has to have the exact same amount, columns and rows. So in this case, I've got four rows, and each row has five circles. If I wanted to flip that, I could simply uh, just pretend like I'm kind of turning it on its side. I'm going to draw rows of four. But now that I've got rows of four, you should know that I need five rows of four to make my 20. So if I were to uh, look at it sideways, I can say... It's the exact same amount, I just kind of rotated it 90 degrees. Skip counting, it's literally just counting by that number. So if I wanted to say 5, then I'm going to skip to the next multiple of 5, the next multiple of 5, up to 20. And this is going to be extremely important as you learn more and more about multiplication facts. It's learning how to skip count by all of the factors. So if I want to do 10, I'm going to do 5, if I want to do 4, I'm going to do 5 skips. Four. 8, 12, 16, and 20, as long as I end up at the same spot. If I wanted to do a number line, it's going to be a lot like skip counting. It's going to look like equal skips. You notice my number line is not labeled. Because what I would do on the first one is I would just say it took me 1, 2, 3, 4 skips. And that's a different way to show multiplication. And I need to label each of them. I'm going to skip from 5 to 10 to 15 to 20 always starting at zero here. So that's how you can show equal groups on a number line. It's a lot like skip counting. If I wanted to use by fours, I'm going to just show you down here on the bottom. I could do the same thing. I'm just going to need to make sure that I label it with my fours. Zero, four, eight, 12, 16, and 20. So equal groups is kind of like an array, but really what we're looking at is if I wanted to draw four circles, I've got four groups. How much is in each group? Well, this is where you draw your little dots to represent how much is inside each one. So I like to make my fives look like they are on the dice when I'm playing Monopoly. So I've got four groups of five. And if I wanted to, I could just count the dots. Or if you want to, you can draw five groups. So here are my five groups and you can fill each of those with four dots. So our final method is the area model. And this is just a 10 by 10 grid. So I'm gonna show you both ways that you can draw this area model. And it's gonna look an awful lot like an array. So if I wanted, I could draw one, two, three, four, five over and four down, and that would represent one. And then if I wanted to do the other one, I would just simply shade in four across and five down. And so those are the different ways that you can represent multiplication. And you, we need to realize in third grade that multiplication can be viewed in all of these different ways.